Hello, good evening. It's Mel Bundock here. It's a bit late, but I am spending this evening, this new moon energy, finally creating my vision book. So, um, those of you who um, aren't aware, tonight or today is the super new moon and um, and it, I think it's an eclipse as well in some parts of the world. Hi Rachel, hello, good evening, how are you all? Good, you <laughs> hello Lisa. Yes, you can always rely on Periscope. So, um, yes, I did the first um, call on my Tapping with your vision board group. Um, circle of making a vision board and vision book. Yes, absolutely both, Julie. I make both. So I've got my vision boards in my office, which kind of give a very good um, overview of how you want your life to look. And it's somewhere prominent where you can see it regularly. But I'm also doing a book as well where you want to kind of delve a little bit deeper. And I'm doing um, this with Annalisa Rutstein in her vision book um, course where we're actually visioning through our chakras and oh whoops I've just realized I put the dog out and um, I need to let her in bear with me it's, oh, excuse me it's dark yes go by chakra by chakra so um, I'm actually very much behind excuse me just let the doggy in um, yeah, I'm very behind with my books. Annalisa started this about um, two weeks ago on the root chakra. So the root chakra is all about safety and security and um, and making sure those elements in your life are secure. So it's about your home and all, all that sort of thing. So I'll show you quickly. I'm working on the root chakra page. So um, we've got here Dream Home. And I would just love a library like this because I adore books. And look at the little mezzanine level on the top where I could just sit there and, oh, that would just be my little haven. That is my dream office come library. And look, a little ladder to get up to the top of the books as well. And, um, and my nice kind of outdoor space that leads out into my swimming pool. And, um, and I've got some just kind of affirmations written on nice red paper. Well the thing is Lisa, I wouldn't be dusting it would I? No siree. Um, I'm grounded in safety, abundance, love, health, harmony and oneness. My foundations for the rest of my life are strong, are solid, strong enough for an empire to be built. I stand strongly and firmly on sacred ground. Yeah so and we continue because obviously my home just isn't finished yet. So lots of light. And Annalisa, I'm just talking about my vision book and how I'm so behind um, on your visioning through the chakras. Um, so you can actually see it. I'm actually creating it tonight because this new moon energy felt so right to kind of create. So I'm starting off on root chakra. And um, I don't know if you saw my first page. There you go. There's my dream library stroke um, office space so I can store all my hundreds and hundreds of books and that way I'd never feel like I have to get rid of any of them. And Lisa said there'd be a lot of dusting involved, but I said that I wouldn't be doing it because I would employ somebody to do my dusting for me. And that would be my nice, bright outdoor space and... Um, there you go, lots of light as well. So this is the root chakra. This is all about kind of the home and safety and security. So um, yeah, that's... <laughs> yes, um, I do love a conservatory. Um, I love um, having lots of light in the home. Um, and yes, and I wanted to create a mind map tonight as well, just to kind of vision my business a bit more because I've had all these ideas being downloaded about um, how I want to, um, how I want my business to look in terms of um, live events and retreats and, um, you know, one-to-one -one writing my book. Um, so 
I need to mind map it out. I need it all on a piece of paper, so I'm going to do that tonight as well. Um, and then I need to go to bed at some point because it is quite late. So my little message is that it is the new moon energy today. What are you going to set your intention upon? Even if you're not, you know, making a vision book or a vision board, you know, just put pen to paper. Just put your intentions out there, what you want to create, what you want to achieve, what you want to have. Because um, the written word is as powerful, perhaps even more so, because you can get lots of detail into the written word. You can really throw your emotions behind it as well and um, feel all the things that you want to feel. And yeah, and tap on it. Then tap, tap, tapity tap. Um, to get yourself feeling aligned with your vision, to get yourself feeling really 100% um, in harmony with your vision. Because when you look at your vision board or your, your vision book, you need to feel excited and just believe it's going to happen rather than thinking, oh, it's wishful thinking or anything like that, because that would be the wrong energy to have. So if you're going to make it, you make it with utmost faith that it's happening just with that knowing that it's going to happen. So I'm going to continue with my root chakra. I think I'm nearly done. Um, and then I think we move up to the sacral chakra, don't we? Yes. It gets all exciting in the sacral chakra, doesn't it, Annalisa? <laughs> um, <laughs> and yes, so um, setting um, my intentions tonight because I've really been blocked doing this. I don't know why. Maybe I was just waiting for this new moon energy and it's the last new moon before my birthday. It's the last moon of my 30s. Oh my goodness. So it feels quite significant that I feel like I'm setting intentions for my next decade and beyond. Um, oh my gosh, I've got goose, goosebumps now. So um, maybe that's why I've been waiting for this day. Um, to set my intentions um, this new moon because um, I just couldn't do it before now. All the stuff was sat there, all the images were clipped out and ready. But um, yes, I'm, I got cut off your scope, Annalisa. So I have to go back and watch the replay because my daughter suddenly came downstairs. So um, yes, Annalisa, tell me more. Um, what was the kind of key message? I really feel like there's some sort of significance, some sort of... Um, shift in the air there's something going on at the moment i don't know what it is but i i think it's all good um but it feels quite exciting these time and happy women's day to you too texan <laughs> happy women's day to you too you don't look like a woman to me but happy women's day anyway <laughs> and i've got this most dreadful cough um i had my call earlier and i was coughing my way all the way through it's all good manifest Yes. Happy Women's Day to you too. Happy Women's Day to all of you everywhere. And um, yeah, perfect day to manifest, set your intentions, revisit your goals. You know, are they still in alignment from the goals you set last month or at the beginning of the year? It's always time to reset them. But today is a great day to do it. Um, great new moon energy, great super new moon energy even. And um Yep, so I'm going to finish off my root chakra. I'm going to then do my mind map and I'm going to spend time on my sacral chakra tomorrow. Who knows what will come up there. <laughs> anyway, good night everyone. Just wanted to pop in quickly. See you all soon.